Welcome. Today's lesson is over percent or the introduction of percent. So as a tribe, you are going to determine which statement or statements are either true or false. So let's go through each statement one by one. A restaurant server who does a really good job typically gets a 10% tip. True or false? In the Houston area, it rains 50% of the time. True or false? The sales tax rate in the Katy area is about 12%. True or false? 91% of American kids play video games. True or false? Two-fifths or 40% of kids have food allergies. True or false? Well, let's see. How did you do? A restaurant server who does a really good job typically gets a 10% tip. False. Um, usually it is 20%. This is what I learned. 20% is pretty, very, very good. About 15% average, standard. Um, it depends because sometimes it's 20%, 80% to 50%. Some people believe it's 20%, 50%, 10%. 10 it just depends. Um, I typically give about 20% because I do have family members who work in the restaurant business. In the Houston area, it rains 50% of the time. Thank goodness this is not true. That's like almost like a hurricane. Uh, Harvey deluge 50% of the time if you think about it. So false. It probably rains. I know we get about 50 inches of rain every year. So it probably rains, I don't know, almost once a week if you think about it. So about 16% of the time. Uh, the sales tax area, the sales tax rate in the kitty area is about 12%. It's actually about 8.8 and a quarter percent, 8 and 2,500 percent. So for example, if you go to the dollar store and you buy something for a dollar, you're not going to pay just a dollar. You're going to pay about eight, $1.08. If you go to a 99 cent store, you're going to pay a dollar oh seven eight cents for every dollar tax. Eight cents, I'm sorry, eight cents tax for every dollar you spend. About ninety-one percent of American kids play video game. Uh, it's true. I wonder. I guess the nine percent who don't must not have a phone, which is good. Two fifth or forty percent of kids have food allergy, and that is definitely true. I know um, we have a lot of kids who are lactose intolerant. I mean, they cannot process dairy products. Um, some have peanut allergies. All sorts of different allergies. So, uh, again, the Houston Texans are sponsoring my classroom. Um, this is a cheerleader. She's going to talk about the importance of knowing percent. So, what is per cent? Per means for every. Cent means a hundred. So, it means for every hundred out of a hundred. So, it compares a number to a hundred. For example, earlier I said 40% of students of kids have food allergy that means 40 per 100 kids so if there are 100 kids 40 for every 100 kids are allergic to some type of food type so it's 40 out of a hundred so that's what percent is it's comparing something to an easier ratio of 100 so we are going to be using base 10 blocks today. We have 100% represents this, 10% and 1%. So show me what 35% looks like. 35%, 10, 20, 30, 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, let me just use my fingers. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So show me 35%. So we have... 35%. How would you represent this in fractional form? Well, we know percent means per 100, 3500. And what decimal is that? 35 hundredths. Can you write that in the hundredths place? That is correct. Next one. Show me five hundredths. One, two, three, four, five. Five. So it says, show me five hundredths. So that's five. How would you write that in fractional form? Five hundredths. 
And what percent is this? Again, a percent is per 100. So it says I already have 100 here. What's on the numerator? 5, 5%. So in your notes, sh shade 45%. So I would like you to shade 45%. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 45%. So if I shade 45%, how would you say that in fractional form? 45 hundreds. And how would you write that in decimal form? 45 hundreds. Shade 4%. So that's 4%. That's 4 hundreds, because percent means per 100, out of 100. 4 for every 100. 4 hundreds is written in decimal form. So the next activity is with your base 10 blocks, you're going to connect two, unif two random unifix cubes. Name the percentage for each cube. So if I have two cubes, and this whole bar represents 100%, what percent would each bar be? Well, let's think about it. Half of it would be 50%. Now you're going to connect three random unifix cubes. Name the percentage for each cube. If this whole bar is 100% and you're breaking it into thirds, what percent would it be each one? 33, 33, 33, but it's 99. What am I going to do that with that last percent right here? I can break that into thirds, so 33 and one-third percent. What if, whoops, what if you have 100%, this whole bar represents 100%, and you have four unifix cubes? What percent would each one be? Let's say 100, that's broken into four groups. Each one be a quarter, oh, 25%. Got to add up to 100%. If you have five random cubes, and you had to, when I percent for each cube, 100%, you break it into five groups. So each one will be 20%. And now, this is probably the one in the hard one. Connect eight random unifix, name the percent. So I have 100% and I have eight groups. So 100 divided by eight goes in one time. 10 minus eight is two, I bring down to zero. Eight goes in 20 twice. 20 minus 16 is 4. I annex a decimal 0, bring it down. It goes to 5. So each one will be 12.5%. I'm going to teach you a shorter cut of this. Let's go back to the fourths. If you have one fourth here, one eighth is Goodness gracious. One eighth is half of one fourth. So what's half of 25? 12.5%. So each eighth is 12.5%. Now, last but not least, you have 20 random unifix cubes. Name the percentage for each one. So there's 100%. You're dividing it, breaking down into 20%. So each one will be 5%. Um, we're going to skip this part right here. And let's go here. So now bar diagram. Can you model 40%? If this is a percent bar, now this is a vertical percent bar. Let's think, if this is 50% right here, so 40% would be right here. If this is, how do you model 60? If this is 50%, 65% is a little more than half. Because think about it, half of this would be 50%. So it has to be, this one has to be a little less than half. This has to be a little more than half. So again, the word percent is a ratio that compares a number to 100. It can be written as out of 100 or per 100. 
or out of 100 or in fractional form 100. For example, 24% means 24 out of 100 or 24 per 100 or 24 over 100. Sometimes you can simplify the ratio. 24 per 100 can be simplified as 2400. We simplify, divide both numbers by 4. So it's 6 25th or 24 hundredths. So we are going to be doing some real world problems because you know life is made up of real problems. We do not just sit here. I just give you numbers and say like make it to more numbers. You have to, it has to be in the context. So a Titanic toy company has a four percent return rate. Complete the table, four percent. So it's four percent means per a hundred, four hundredths. But now I would like you to simplify this. What's another way to say 400? I could divide both numbers by 4, so that's 125th. There are four trombones out of 25 instruments in the Landers Town Band. Complete the table. So 4 out of 25. I need to turn it into a decimal and a percent. What place value would I like to use? 100. How do you turn 25 to 100 times 4? The scale factor is times 4. So it's 16 hundredths, and percent means anything per 100, so it must be 16%. On a Saturday afternoon, 6 out of 8 phone calls taken at Overlook Restaurant were for dinner reservations. Complete the table. I believe the Outlook Restaurant is, is overlooking Lake Travis. Beautiful restaurant. I think that's where my brother um, proposed to his wife. Or uh, maybe it was Mount Bunnell. All right, so six out of eight. So I need to turn it to a decimal and to a percent. But can eight even go into a hundred? Let's think about it. Well, it can if you think about it as times 12.5%. But you know what? What? Look at six and eight. What type of numbers do you see here? What? Even? So I could div div divisible by two, three fourths. Some of you may have memorized three fourths. I'm hoping you have. Have you memorized three fourths as seventy five hundredths? Because the relationship, the scale factor is times twenty five, so it's seventy five hundred. And so the percent must be what, per one hundred seventy five percent. The bowling team won four out of sixteen games this year. Complete the table. Can 16 go into 100? Because percent means per 100. No, it cannot. But if you look closely, I notice that both numbers can be divisible by 2. So it become 2 8 or 1 4. Some of you may have memorized a fourth. If you go back to this, a fourth is 25%. So 25%. If you do not know why, let me show you why. What's the relationship between 4 to 100 times 25 times 25, 25 hundreds? And percent means anything per 100 or out of 100. Lucy accepted 3 out of 15 love letters from Mr. Joe. Name the fraction decimal percent of equivalent of letters she did not accept. Complete the table. So let's do acceptance and did not accept. Sad about this. So she accepted 3 out of 15. That means she probably rejected. Or no, let's just say that she did not receive it in the mail. Probably that's the best bet. 12 out of 15. Can 15 even go into 100? Well, you know what? You could do it as this way. How do you turn a 15 to a 3? Divide by 5. You could do it that way. So it is 20 hundred or 20 percent. Another way you could do it is could you simplify 3 and 15? What are they divisible by? By 3. So it's 1 fifth. 1 fifth is the same thing as saying 20 hundreds. So if you know what? If 20 percent accepted, what percent it did not? Let's go back to our. Here, if 20% are shaded or accepted, what percent are not? That would be 80% or 80 hundreds. So our next activity, 
if we have tends to do matches. Well, 55%, 5,500, 75%, 7,500, 40, 100, 40%, 24%, 2,400. Shucks. Hmm. Oh, we just did three, four. Can four go into 100 times 25? So uh, times 25, that's 75. Times four, times four is 24 hundreds times 5 times 5 is 55 so the last one goes here times 20 times 20 and our last activity um, stores usually advertise the sales price as a percent or a fraction of the original price savvy shoppers know how percent and fractions compare to know which is the better deal which is the better deal if something saying is half off hopefully you know that that is the same as saying 50 percent off 40% off, 40 part, one third. Let's think about our fraction bar. If you have 100% and you're just a third of it, how would you divide 100% into thirds? 33%. But what are you going to do with that last 1%? Back into thirds again. So, it's, so which stores had the best deal? Half off. And that is our study of percent. Percent is anything per 100.